Hey everybody, Timber, Craig. Uh, we are here today in Heart Bar area, kind of south of Onyx in Big Bear, California. We got a nice series of storms over the last couple of days, so we got a good powder base going, and Timber and I thought we'd take the snowshoes out, go for a little bit of exploring. So thanks for coming along. Um, just brewed up a nice pot of snow melt coffee in the press, and uh, maybe I can bear to put my coffee down for a minute while we talk. So. Uh, we wanted to show you a little bit about uh, the gear that Timber's wearing. Primarily what we've got is a jacket and boots. Um, the, uh, the jacket is a Quincy, which is uh, kind of the midpoint on the coats or jackets series for rough wear. Uh, it's a light duty, great cutouts here in the axillary underarm uh, location so that uh, you get good freedom of movement there, no, no restriction, uh, no rubbing or chafing uh, under the armpits. But, but uh, again, lightweight duty as far as water repellency, just a good base layer, or it's a good warmth layer for him. Uh, we like that. If I thought it was gonna be colder, maybe down in the 30s freezing uh, we want and we wanted to kind of up his warmth and protection we might put the cloud chaser on underneath him which is a full fleece enclosed jacket and it adds a really nice layer of warmth sometimes we put it on underneath that and then put the Quincy on top and best of both worlds if we wanted we could upgrade to the powder hound which is a combination of both those two other jackets in one and that is a again a full enclosure jacket zips on it's got a, a higher level of water resistance and a highest level of warmth so uh, but for today we went kind of light duty because we knew we we're just gonna be working hard and stomping around in the snow um, for uh, foot protection we went with the polar treks and so these are a little bit taller of a boot which provides a little bit more snow protection great when you're in powder days like this and the foot's going in kind of deep um, there are two stay points for these boots the lower strap which binds around the foot and clamps into place. And so you can see here as I undo it, there's a little safety or a little tidying strap here that holds it in place when you're done. But in order to tighten it, you just pull on this and tension it in as much as you like it to be. And then you push this clamp down. And uh, finally, then you bring this little, uh, uh, this little um, tidying strap uh, over the, uh, uh, band and you're in good shape. Hey buddy, hang on for a second. And then if we look at the top here, there is a little uh, tensioning cord. Thanks for the kisses. And we just, uh, when we're putting the boot on, we can have that open so it receives the paw real well. And then, uh, and then what we're able to do is when we're done, we tuck it in together and we bring that little tensioning cord over to that little cleat. And then we can just draw this in so it's nice and snug, helps keep snow from getting into the boot. So real nice design. Um, as you can see, uh, nice high quality uh, end materials and stitching. Everything's double stitched around here. Um, it's got a nice little uh, Vibram sole on the bottom. I really love rough wear. They just, they pull out all the stops. So those are the boots. That's the jacket. Um, one thing I would add, if I could for a minute, is that I hear a lot in veterinary medicine a myth that people believe that you know dogs don't experience pain in the same way that people do. And I really wish we could just make that uh, go away. Um, dogs do experience some pain and uh, these paw pads are not invincible. If you're going to be out for long bike rides and, and long hikes and you're going to expose the paw pad to this tough DG um, gravel pavement even, you will wear that paw pad down and if you've ever done it, it's a, it's a real bummer so boots are helpful. And, um, and if you think about, you know, not just the pad, but once you leave the pad and you come up around on the side of the toes, it's just regular skin there with some fur. So that, um, that is subject to freezing and in conditions like this, you get the snow on there, you get water, they get hot, then they get cold, it freezes, it hurts. Um, if you've ever taken your dog out for a long period of snow exposure and you see them back at home and they're just licking that paw nonstop, it's cause they got like freezer burn on their foot. So. So let's not do that anymore. Um, consider some boots if you're gonna be out, you know, any long bike rides, uh, any long hikes, and definitely snow exposure, all four uh, feet would be required. And let's keep these guys comfortable. They like to get out with us. We, we, we wear all the same kind of gear. We don't just come out here um, in our flip-flops, right? So at uh, so any rate, that's what we're wearing today. That's the end of my soapbox. And uh, I hope you've learned something today. If you've got any questions, please hit us up at thepodlife.com. If you're interested in any of the rough wear gear, check out our products page. If you have questions on any of it, doot, 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 
just shoot us an email. We'll be happy to answer them. Uh, we love to get pics of you and your dog out on trail uh, anytime you think to take them. So please send them to us. And uh, we really appreciate your time. So take care, everybody. We'll see you out there real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>